Hello YouTubers, Romanky Jr. here, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Martini Henry. So one of my favorite weapons got a little bit of love in the winter patch for Battlefield 1. You guys know it, the Martini Henry. Last patch, which was mid-December, this weapon actually got a slight nerf. Well, actually, they mostly fixed it so that the body part damage multiplier applied properly to the Martini Henry, because previously it did not. However, by doing this, they significantly reduced its viability by making it much harder to get a proper one-shot kill in the sweet spot range, which was very frustrating seeing as this weapon requires a good amount of skill and accuracy to use in the first place. Following this nerf, the Martini Henry saw a lot less action in Battlefield 1. In fact, I hardly saw any players using it for the simple reason that it wasn't all that good and that it put them at a significant disadvantage compared to using other bolt-action rifles, which at least had more than one round in the chamber. I had made a video on the properly applied damage multiplier stating that it had in fact just been fixed and that the martini was still the same. Well it wasn't really the same because in the first version of the weapon you could get a one shot kill by pretty much hitting an enemy anywhere. Since the December patch this was no longer true. It still retained some one shot killing potential but it wasn't worth the risk. Now they have finally done something to make it so that if you are skilled enough to land that one shot you dispose of, you have a much higher chance of getting that glorious one shot kill. Now it still does 100 damage between 30 and 80 meters but keep in mind that the damage multiplier is properly applied now. However, in ranges going from 42 to 68 meters it does a massive 112 damage. Now you may be like wait, what does this change? It already does 100 damage which is enough to take down an enemy from 100 health to zero. Yes, you are correct, but with a higher damage output, if you hit an enemy in lower body and upper arms, this gives you a damage multiplier of 0.9, thus reducing the maximum damage that you can apply to your target by 10%. Now if you apply this damage reduction to the maximum damage between the ranges of 42 to 68 meters, which is 112, you will still be doing 100.8 damage to your target, thus killing him in the process. Also, if you hit your target in the legs or forearms, you will still be doing a sufficient amount of damage for it to count as a kill if someone finishes him off. So this is a great buff for the Martini Henry because now you have more one shot killing potential. So the payoff is there if you are willing to use this weapon which only has one round in the chamber, as well as many other downsides such as slow bullet velocity, insane bullet drop, and a really long reload time. This also means that if you are good enough to swap out to your secondary weapon and shoot the enemy after hitting them with the Martini Henry, it will require less bullets to kill him with your secondary weapon. More than likely you will be able to shoot only one shot from your secondary weapon and you will still be awarded the kill. So I simply wanted to explain in detail the changes DICE made to my favorite weapon and let you guys know that it is better than ever and that you should definitely try and use it now because honestly it is one of the most fun weapons to use in the game. It takes a lot of skill to use but now at least you have the payoff to go with it. So if you liked the video hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button subscribe to my channels for more videos like this one and as always thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.